Good morning, good morning. This is uh, Oivan. We are in Norway. In Norway. Uh, today we are going to have some uh, tutorial on forestry. Because I got a comment on uh, my uh, industry later. Uh, if you see here, oh, this is lots of people. This is the uh, old town that I built last uh, last time. Uh, has a huge amount of uh, people here. Uh, let's see, I think this tram line is going to go very, very well. Why didn't you stop there? Uh, before the first three, I think I'm going to just uh, set up uh, a couple uh, trams. Can go here. All right, this is uh, Norway. Is uh, from um, the map is Carisdale Bay, a Manila map from uh, Sidai that I have um, just called Norway for now because this is the bay. And what the city is going to call, I don't know. Today, we are going to go over the bay. I have created a small town here under Hill Heights. Just to provide something um, to the um, forestry that we are going to have up here. So you can see down on the city there. And I need also... Uh, I think I got a small. Can I have it here like that? Yeah. So I got the police, the fire, and uh, the recycling center that can provide here. The first thing I'm going to take is for the um, lumber f in the. Uh, if you play uh, vanilla with no extension, no DLC. Then you just create this uh, small district, holy district, and you have uh, set the policy, uh, not the policy, I uh, see what we need here, I don't want it. And on the district you then go on industrial specialization and click forest uh, industry in the district. Then we got this, uh, if you see here now. The three here, first three specialization, and then we can just uh, plot some industry. Th the comment I was is that I usually delete trees and uh, remove trees from where uh, the factory is going. Today I'm just going to leave the trees on. Uh, if I make the anarchy off and see what's happened here, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is too much. I got to do take off this one like that. Um, have some few here. I'm going to follow uh, the valley in the small valley here. So I'm going to delete there. There we got it. I have uh, set the prop and tree anarchy off. So when I build the trees underneath, will be hide. The reason why I'm um, removed the trees before is that you have uh, only. Uh, uh, one amount of trees you can have on the whole map. So if you lay lots of roads and things, you ha still have a tree that count on that. This is how you uh, create um, the industry. Because you have uh, industry here, you, ca you have farming, forest, farming, or and oil and then we have this generic industry if you don't set it up uh, so you uh, and use some of this for in the forestry you of course you need to place it in the forest where the resources are and it will go from there 
And as you see here, it uh, begins to go. And of course, I'm going to show you if you have this um, industry DLC pack, you can use this one you have this for so you can create a larger farm forest or an oil and then you have warehouses and some unique factories that we can see later uh, the unique factories and uh, it's on what you have uh, on the resources it's this this here you can have a wood product and you have a lumber mill here for three wood products. So it's uh, just uh, factories you can have for it. So let's begin. I begin as in uh, normal, but you have this specialization here, paint industry area. Uh, so I'm going to paint here. I'm going to use this road I have made. The thing I have uh, found out is that I don't want to create too large. I have done it before and it then happens that you um, you got too much traffic at once in your uh, and especially if you have a train that takes the cargo. Okay, we have now plant uh, build this uh, main building so we can have sawmill, we can have small tree plantation, and a log yard. Uh, as you see here, in the you have trees, you can then do this up to paper and pallets, a plank timber, I mean, and from there you can use the unique factory and send it to a commercial zone. So the first thing is just to going to export uh, lumber. So we can start from here. Uh, so I'm going to have uh, up here some. Let's see if I can set down a key off again. On, I mean, I want it up here. So I'm going to place a one. And to there. I don't want that. I need to move it. I want to have it on this road here. Slope. Ah, we got a big city. Congratulations. We got 15,000 in population. The crematorium. That people love crematoriums in the city if you do it. They really love it. Sit. But now, first, I have to build this one. Sleep. Slope is too sleep. There we have one. Yeah. And of course they need some water. Everything needs water. And I don't want to uh, build a large large one here. So uh, now you see I got two in here. I'm going to delete some of the trees that I was forget. I want to delete the trees that I have in um, uh, from my buildings here. Ah, and now we got this. I don't want to build that way. Um, of course. In the field here, if I'm going to delete some of the trees that just are in the field, I can want to do that. Because in here, you have the raw forest, they have the same production 
if you got trees in or out. 4704 and 4800. Maybe not. So you need trees in it and it produces more. Ah, I see. And you can also, uh, if I'm going to replace this just one more time in here, like that. And you can take from beach to a conifer and alder. I like the conifer. I'm going to use it also here, the conifer. So now you see I have these two up here. And I also want to just build more trees. Uh, if I'm like that, continue a bit up here if I can. Just to there we got one. Can I move this up here? Yeah, like that. I want to use it because I want to have the forestry here and here and a lumber yard long down here and unique factories so you have the um, the whole uh, from uh, wood to uh, finished product so we have okay we have this sawmill I can have. I want to build a lumber yard also because they can then uh, cut down trees here and they're going to put it on this lumber yard like here. And let's see, I need more water, of course. So, in here I can have a balance or fill empty. If I have balance, it will have around 50% of the of the lumber in here and export the rest. So I have now placed forestry and they're going to uh, take the lumber down here and just uh, make small traffic down here. And it's going to have um, lumber cars from here and through. If I don't have it, they will export it out. So it's taking a longer time to do all this. I'm just going to place this electricity because they here we got it now, you can see the first one, it's exporting, Let's see what it says. Small tree plantation, delivering forest to, ah, they're going to deliver to this factory up here. I'm just going to lower this down, like that. Alright. And we can see the bed for forest production that we now we are now uh, zero tons. We have to wait some. So I'm just going to fast forward and see you later. And we are back in bed for forest production, and we are soon to uh, level up. We have. Uh, the 165 and we needed 150 workers to level up and we have soon 500 resources i have before we level up i want to say i have now four of this uh, three plantation small ones I have two small log yards and a sawmill and the sawmill uh, is um storing uh, plant timber down here so uh, i now have timber that goes down here and to the uh, sawmill and we are up and before uh, and we got also have timber that goes to the the factories around my city uh, in the industry we now can make biomass 
pal plant furniture factory uh, so the storage more the storage and barracks the barracks gives more uh, effect um, you can see it later and we have a tree sapling field and forest in residential see now you can now go on the industry and you can now see this forest barracks that gives us a uh, five percent uh, work efficiency and this small tree sapling field uh, it's uh, giving more tree than the forest uh, tree plantation I mean and then we got uh, this biomass pellet plant that can produce paper and we got some mill that already that produce um, timber uh, plant timber and we have uh, so the storage that we can uh, store more uh, raw forest product here you can uh, f uh, have a capaci capacity of 400,000 and we ne had the small log here that ha only had 300,000 and uh, are for residential for 50 workers so they don't need to uh, come be transferred to bus or something else up here Alright, we want to uh, expand more, so I'm going to uh, just uh, build more uh, roads here. I'm going to try to follow uh, the. F Let's see if I miss. Try to follow the hill here. Now I'm going to have some more. Uh, I'm going to try out this. Uh, three saplings if I have it down up here I'm going to have three saplings here and try to go it down and have a factory uh, down here see how that works so I'm going to plant one two three or this one see how that goes ah uh, no water of course and we also reached Grand City I got the uh, sub MMBV substation the power this is good winter market I got a lot now thank you thank you congrats and see the plan now is to uh, have timber from here and we have to store it in down here so they're going to travel down here and we can also build this uh, so the storage here Let's see if I don't know why if I build it up there I'm going to build it, move it up here. I want it closer, like that. And we need, of course, power. I'm just going to place a small one here, like that. So uh, we now got power. And I'm going to check out this pell plant. We also have. Uh, wood plant and pulp mill etc and this is storage I just have a warehouse yard down here now and you can have a small warehouse medium and large one and you can see they are quite large footprints here the furniture factory when I got the pulse plant, we have these two products that we need to have a furniture factory. We have, the as you see, uh, plant timber and paper special goods. 
and then we got the furniture that's a special goods we can sell or export so I'm going to test it out and I think we're going to plan out some here There and we can have this road right like that and I want this pell plant biomass inside this area like that. Let me see. here and up there and I'm going to have Larsa Road all the way up yeah and of course water and power like that all right let me now see so the plan now is that um, they're going to transport the uh, raw forest product down here and I also are going to have a small warehouse in here that I am um, on this side I can have it I'm going to build it up here yes like that and I'm going to have it balanced and we're going to have um, this produce paper and we got paper there, yeah. So they can store some paper here and have it balanced. We always going to have some paper we can have in there, have some ship out. So let's see how this is going to work now. And as you see, it's going to grow more and more, and I don't want a large one because it's take a lot of the traffic. Um, as you can see over here, it's going to be quite condensed if I just take. This is all the traffic from uh, this industry that we have make this today. <coughs> See if we now can they have start the production, and we're going to finish up with. Um, let's see if we can. When we have reached level three, and in level three we can see here, you can have large three saplings. Now it's that's in there because we are small now and medium and large tree plantation and the same is uh, this uh, saplings field and the forest tree mountains mountains building. I'm going to build some I call it barracks, but uh, I think the the barracks is here. Yeah. In in the building was I'm not in the industry area, so I don't I can place it just the roads. Let's see where do I want it? I want it here. So here we have some residential where uh, where fifty workers can uh, live I uh, work from. I like that one. 
I also have a bus that goes stop here and in this town and down to my city to transport workers. Mm. We're going to build a new fan a unique factory. We don't need a unique factory in the Bedford Forest area. We can place it whenever we want. That's a good thing with unique factories. So I can just I can uh, make a industry zone and just place it here if I want. And then they are going to transport uh, uh, paper and uh, plant lim uh, timber to the factory. So uh, I'm just going to fast forward and we can see more uh, when that's all finished up. Okay. And we're back again. Now we are a uh, bit more. As you can see, we are uh, next uh, on soon to be level 3. I have the workers that I need, I just need the resources. And what we have built is four small tree sapling fields. I have a uh, soldier storage that I have set to fill. I have this biomass plant that needs more um, raw forest product. And when they are producing uh, the paper, it will fill this small warehouse. And we have uh, this plant timber um, warehouse uh, yard up here. The, the plan is that these two can uh, then transport uh, the goods we need to this new area. Here I have all the heights. Uh, you can see it up here. Here's the city. So that they're going to transport down here. I'm going to have a unique factory here close by uh, the train and the uh, uh, highway. So, we go to the factory, garbage and industry, unique factories, furniture, and I'm going to place it right up here. I will fix the water and uh, electricity. So that's not a problem. And we have this wound vision. And then I'm going to have see when they are producing unique uh, products. I got to see if I want this one or maybe that one. Congrats. Yeah, we are now level three in the timber yard so uh, the forest products so i can now have a printing press medium tree plantation and a large log yard first i'm going to have this here um, i'm going to have this on their own his own road and i'm going to just plan this out Let's see if i got that one and we can plan this up here and just smooth this out because this is going to be high traffic here. So I want to have like that and then we can build this medium warehouse here. Alright. And load this just down here like that we can load this down and we have when you have a um, warehouse you need to say what it's going to do this is going to have some unique factory products and I'm going to fill up some more of this area with the uh, generic um, fact, uh, factory industry so we can just get some uh, live up uh, here I don't know there. and then we can 
also I'm going to have this free line with the sound barrier we can have it from here and there just so we can that I think I go have and the four we have four lane yeah I got three lanes and four lanes so that because I have this second lane here. Oh, this is something I need to fix now. Let's see if these are the same as this one. And we can. I think we just need to move this. It's too close to each other. Here and just like that. Hmm. Why do we have this glitching up here? I have this same as this one, and this it's going to be same as here. see if there uh, we're going to have some uh, we got already got plant timber and now we uh, need some paper uh, and they're going to ship it from here as soon as possible I think it's already shipped up there let's see delivery yeah so we have now paper and plant timber. We have to uh, walk all the way to get it here. And uh, as we also want parking lot here, we can have one here, like that. in the same height as this one and the same with this like that yeah and you need to place some parking here to just place here now for you guys like that yeah now we have some play uh, parking for uh, this factory and the warehouse so they're going to produce here and then store it here so um, that's uh, how we can have timber from wood to special product and uh, in this case furniture so uh, see you later and uh, thanks for watching